All right, Johnny. For this one, we got a 2019 movie, Vivarium. Uh, it's got a 5.8 out of 10 rating on IMDb. It's about a young couple looking for the perfect home that finds themselves trapped in a mysterious labyrinth-like neighborhood of identical houses. The director is Lorcan Finnegan. Stars are Imogen Poots, Daniel Ryan, Molly McCann, and a uh, friend of the pod. Well, I guess... Friend, uh, family member of a friend of the pod. <laughs> family member of a friend of the pod. Uh, what's his name? Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg. I'll cut that out. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, Johnny, what'd you think of this one? I gave this one a very soft two. I really liked the premise a lot, and I liked the acting um, of both Jesse Eisenberg and Emojin Poots as well, but the pacing was extremely off. You can watch the trailer for it, and I thought I had the entire movie spoiled for me, but so much happens in the first you know, 40 minutes, and then the rest of it is just sort of plotting along and then it ends really quick like the again it has something where they could have possibly worked out the pacing a little better to make it more even instead of a, a fast start low fast ending is it a is it imogen or emojin i i don't know <laughs> so she's a good act she's one of my favorite actresses actually uh i remember her on the 28 days later and 28 weeks later Everybody in that movie has always Loves got a soft spot in my movie, heart. This guy. <laughs> I, I do. I really do. Um, I'm with you completely. I gave it a two as well. Uh, the things that I liked about it were that the, <laughs> the cinematography matched the mood of the movie perfectly. Like that, that very dull, uh, dusk like um, color scheme where it's just like, you know greens and dark blues and just hazy and trippy that was very i thought that was very fitting um all the actors were great but it just became entirely repetitive um yeah. I, I thought you you brought up a great point like everything you need to know about this movie is in the trailer and that about does it um i thought the i you know what i thought it wanted to be like mandy but it just wasn't like it just wasn't that it wasn't that mind bending it didn't make you feel insane oh, yeah, it didn't make no. you turn away like nothing was too that that's exactly it was sort of just and i actually read what the director said afterwards they weren't even sure what they wanted the you know the creature or alien to be which you know ambiguity is something in a movie but it's not am ambiguous if the director just doesn't know and just doesn't have a clue yeah. what they yeah. actually want I'm with you completely. I I just I don't even know that I'd watch it again. Like it was just so slow and like depressing and and just. This was actually one of the first movies I watched in my my new house. So it was just sort of interesting in that respect. I was like, well, dang, this is supposed to freak me out, but it didn't. Right. It like did everything it. was set up for it to like actually thrill me. You know, it's a psychological thriller, a mind bending thriller, but. I've said it, I think, in other reviews. I want to be thrilled in a thriller, and, and this one yep. I was not. <laughs> this one was just like sad and boring to me. So I, yes, I agree with the two rating. We're both on. You don't need to watch this at all. Um, but I will say, if you're if you're a contrarian and you you think we don't know what we're talking about, which we don't, um, the ending was really solid. I, I I will say I didn't anticipate that, and I loved the way it looked. And that was probably the best part of the movie. Yeah, the, the, I would say that the best part was either right at the beginning when they're like trapped in the proverbial labyrinth, or yep. the the trippy ending for sure. All right, but so the middle. <laughs> so Vivarium is a certified two. You do not need to watch it.